Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And if you want to flash the factory image on your Google Pixel 7, Google Pixel 7 Pro, Google Pixel 6, Google Pixel 6 Pro, Google Pixel 6a, in fact, on any Google Pixel device, that is what we're going to do in this video. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to use my Google Pixel 6. A. So what are the prerequisites now? The method which we are using requires you to have an unlocked bootloader and also access to a computer. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent. Also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, anything important which you have on your device because we are going to perform a factory reset and you are going to lose all your pictures, videos and anything important which you have on your device. Now for your computer, you do need to have the ADB fastboot drivers installed and how do you do that? Video for that can be found in the description of the video. Next thing I recommend you do is you can go into settings and once you are in settings, you can remove all the accounts and security measures. So first of all, we will go into security, remove your fingerprint, pin, password, face unlock, whatever you have set up. Once that is done, you can go back and then you can go into the accounts section. And once you are in the passwords and accounts section, here and make sure you have removed all the Google accounts associated with your device. And before you ask me, hey Manji, why are we removing all the accounts and security measures? We are doing this because after a factory reset, if there's a Google account associated with the device before that, then you have to sign back into the very same account for you to be using your device. So just to avoid that headache of signing back into the same account, I prefer to remove the accounts beforehand. Now, once you have removed all the accounts and security measures, rebooted your device, next thing we need to do is boot our device into fast boot mode. So how do you do that? Well, you access your quick settings panel, tap on this power button on the bottom, right? Then you select restart and as soon as the screen goes blank, you press and hold volume down. So screen went black, pressing and holding volume down and pretty soon we should boot into fast boot mode so this here is how fast boot mode is going to look like and at this point all you need to do is connect your phone to the computer using a usb cable now once we are on the computer first thing you need to do is download the latest adb and fast boot which can be found at the official developer.android.com website here and you have three different options for mac for linux or for windows the link to this page is in the description of the video and download the version for your specific operating system now this will be a zip file now once you have downloaded adb and fastboot the next thing you need to download is the factory flashable fastboot image for the nexus or the google pixel device which you are wanting to flash back to factory software so this is the page you will land on now there is some special information about pixel 6 6 pro and 6a devices about android 13 and rolling back to android 12 so make sure you do read this warning now over here i am going to go ahead and acknowledge the terms and conditions now once you've acknowledged the terms and conditions you will land up on a page like this so this here again is your factory images this is not full ota images this is your factory images and factory images you need to flash using fast boot on the right hand side you have your devices so you have the pixel 7 the pixel 7 pro the pixel 6 a so let us say you want it for the pixel 7 pro so these here are the different versions which are available now with carriers here it is if you have a verizon based pixel 7 pro then download the verizon one if you have a telia based phone then download that one everyone else can download this one over here and you have the month and the year of the security patch here as well now you need to select on link once you select on link the file will start downloading on your device 
So here it is, you can see that the file has started downloading on my laptop. Now once all the files have downloaded, I do recommend that you place them in one folder. So here it is, this is our ADB and fast food and this is our factory image for our specific Google Pixel device. In my case, it is the Google Pixel 6a. The next thing we need to do is we need to extract these files. Now you can use any archive extractor which you want. I am going to use WinRAR for the purpose of this video, but you can always use the inbuilt utility which is present in Windows. So here it is, extract to and just select OK. Once that is done, we will go to the factory image for the Google Pixel 6a and follow the same steps, say extract to and select OK over here. Now extracting the factory image might take some time based on how powerful your computer is. So you do need some patience. Now, once the files have extracted successfully, you will notice that you have folders. Let us first go inside this factory image folder and in that you have all these files. So we are going to select all of these by pressing Control A or Command A on your computer or Mac and then right click and then we need to cut these. So right click and I'm going to select the scissors over here to cut it and then we can go back to our main folder which is pixel go inside platform tools go inside the folder wherein you have adb and you also have fast boot and then we are going to paste whatever we had cut over here so now you have the factory image for the google pixel device in the same folder wherein you have your adb and you have your fast food the next thing you need to do is you need to open command prompt or terminal over here now in windows to open command prompt all you need to do is go to the address bar tap over there make sure everything is highlighted and selected type in cmd press the enter key and bam here it is you can see this is the command prompt now once we are in command prompt or terminal we are going to check whether our device is being detected in fast boot mode or not the command for that is fast boot space devices mac and linux users will need to enter dot slash before the command and once you've entered the command press the enter key there it is you can see that my device is being detected in fast boot mode now what if your device is not being detected in fast boot mode that means you do not have the drivers installed and videos on how to install the drivers can be found in the description of this video. Now, once we've made sure that our device is being detected in fast boot mode, we can close this command prompt. And now we are back in the folder wherein you have your ADB, you have your fast boot and you have your image files and all the other factory image files which you need to flash the factory firmware or the factory software on your google pixel device the next thing for windows all you need to do is go to this file which is your flash hyphen all again flash hyphen all this is a windows batch file and double click on it and there it is you can see that the process of flashing the factory firmware or the factory image on your google pixel device has started now your device might reboot multiple times while this process is going on but again do not disconnect your device why because once the process finishes successfully then this window will close automatically and your device will reboot so right now it is saying waiting for any device so you do need to wait and not disconnect your device and at some point during the process the google pixel device might enter fast boot d mode so again do not disconnect your device from the computer it might reboot multiple times once the process has finished successfully this command prompt window will close automatically so I think I was wrong now once the process finishes successfully it will tell you that it has finished as you can see on your screen right now and then it will also tell you 
press any key to exit so the command prompt is not going to close on its own it will tell you press any key to exit but your device is going to reboot on its own and once you get this message finished press any key to exit feel free to close this command prompt window and at this point you can also disconnect your device from the computer now what will you do if you are on a mac you will go to the very folder wherein you have your adb and your fastboot you've already done your check that your device is being detected in fastboot mode you will go to this file which is flash hyphen all dot sh and we need to edit this file you can use any text editor which you want to i prefer to use bb edit now once we've opened the file in our text editor you need to remove these checks which i have highlighted but before that make sure you have downloaded the latest version of adb and fastboot from the website which is linked in the description of this video now once we have removed the check the next thing we need to do is enter dot slash before the fast boot commands and for the sleep command you do not have to enter dot slash but you do have to enter dot slash for the fast boot commands and once you've done that the next thing we need to do is save this file and then you can close your text editor once we have edited the file the next thing we need to do is open terminal window in that very folder and if i do ls command in this specific path you will notice i have my flash all file over here i have my adb my fast boot i have my bootloader image radio image and the factory image for the google pixel 6a the next thing we need to do is we need to execute this flash hyphen all dot sh file which we just edited so the first command we are going to do is make this file executable the command for that is chmod space plus x space name of the file in our case it is flash hyphen all dot s h and then we are going to press the enter key if you do not get any error you return to the prompt that means the file was made to an executable successfully the next thing we are going to do is we need to execute this file so the command for that is s h space name of the file in our case flash hyphen all dot s h so we're going to enter s h space flash hyphen all dot s h and then we are going to press the enter key and there it is you can see that the device is being flashed right now now do note that your device will reboot multiple times it might enter into fast boot d mode just be patient and do not disconnect your device from the computer at one point it will tell you that the process has finished and your device will reboot you will see the google boot animation and pretty soon you should be at the pixel setup screen at which point you can disconnect your device from the mac or your computer and there it is peeps that is how you flash the factory image on your google pixel device whether it be the google pixel 7 pro pixel 7 pixel 6 pro pixel 6 pixel 6a or any other google pixel device